Welcome, everyone, to the Fuck If I Know podcast, official episode two. We are here with Justin Messick. I'm not here. Professional no wook and... <laughs> uh, if I had a dollar for every time someone called me a wook since I left for summer camp and came back from summer camp, I'd have enough to you buy are, my ticket. You are your radiating wook right now. <laughs> really? Yeah. Those pants, those shorts... Do you not wanted, love but, them, though? No, it looks good, man. These I'm shorts not, are I'm not awesome. Bashing. These awesome shorts. I mean, look how you bucks. I am. I'm wearing 40 bucks at a festival? Yeah. You're not going to get a better deal. No, you're not. Um, so what's new, folks? Um, we got, you know, this pandemic's almost over. Feels like... Geez, I didn't, it doesn't I even exist It anymore. kind of feels like it's done. It's done. Um, I don't care about it. That means yeah. it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> no... Um, what else? What else? We're really unprepared for this episode, <coughs> so you're gonna have to just bear with us. This guy's doing all sorts of things over here, and I'm drinking a beer. Yeah, this is a 21 and up podcast. Yep, 21 and up. Um, what's new, Justin? Huh? What's new with you, man? I just got back from uh, summer camp, man. Summer camp festival, and it was. A fucking great time. Awesome. It was by far my favorite year. Uh, I got to see more artists this year than I think I've ever seen in my last four years. Really? Yeah. It, it, it was, there was no fucking around, man. You know, like, during the day, we'd wake up, everybody would be up and going around 1, 2 o'clock, and then by 4 o'clock, everyone's baked, everyone's drunk, everyone's ready to go to see music, and we're there until 3 a.m., it, I, it, like, it got to the point where, like, this year I was so excited because they just introduced late night sets. Mm-hmm. So prior to this year, I think one thirty, maybe 2 a.m. would be when the last set finished up. Mm-hmm. And uh, this year they had sets starting at 3. And I was super excited. I was like, I can't wait. I'm going to be up all fucking night, you know. And, uh, no, not at all. I was fucking dying to go see those 3 a.m. sets. Because they were good. Yeah. But, uh, I'm hardly alive because I was just out all uh, yeah. day. I can't do that anymore, music. honestly. Just, like, staying, staying up just even one day without sleep just destroys I mean, That's not even close to, you know, a day. Because, you, know, you know, I, I, I know that, you know, the following day I can, um, I can sleep as long as I want. I don't gotta give a shit, you know. Yeah. I can sleep until two p.m. and I don't gotta worry about nothing. True, true. But I'm I'm literally just that exhausted, dude. Yeah, you're I'm always constantly moving. walking and dancing, dancing, and, and yelling, and drugs, and drugs, <laughs> dude. I uh I hippie flipped for the first time. Yeah, tell me about that. That was an amazing experience. Let me hit this real quick. A hippie flip is. A hippie flip is um a hippie flip is when when you take. Molly and acid at the same time. Okay. Or I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I actually just said acid. It's Molly and mushrooms at the same time. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I rolled, This guy rolled up on camp with a shit ton of mushrooms. Mm-hmm. Straight golden teachers. And I know people mm-hmm. like to throw that name around there a lot to mm-hmm. like sell what they got. But this was golden teachers. Like, if you looked up a Google image of what a golden teacher looked like, this is like the epitome of what they looked Pristine like. Pristine. They were thick. They version. were long. The, the fucking the cap was small. Beautiful mushrooms. Hell of a bargain, too. So I bought an eighth off of him. Thank God I only ate two stems that night. When yeah. Because I, I, I was tripping balls. Oh, and man. This molly, Just two stems? Not, not yes. Even a cap? Not, no cap. Wow. I had no caps. I had no like cap. one... <laughs> no cap. No cap. I uh, I had like one broken apart cap and that was like the dust in my bag. That was my one cap. Nice. And, um... Yeah. Wait, so you took, bought an eighth and you split it with people? No. Nah, oh. All me. Oh, it was all you. And it was just two Throughout stems. the weekend. Oh. I actually came back with two stems, and I gave him the <laughs> my homie. Gotcha. I'll bleep that out later. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, so... I, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I am going to be going back to Verizon, hmm. which should be good. Uh, we're currently working for Blankety Blank Repair Center, and uh, 
it's just not enough pay. So <laughs> um, I figure, if anything, I will be selling phones and on the side, fixing them. So might get like a hot plate. We do not condone what Justin's doing right now. There are no drugs being done okay. on this end of this the guy, podcast. Not for me. Um, we don't know what drugs are. Let's just reiterate that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I never really finished my hippie flip story. Oh yeah, you didn't. I just. I do. You're, you're just you really half. ready to talk about Verizon. <laughs> <laughs> you're the most really boring. Shit. You're really no. ready to talk about switching. No. Switching back to good old Verizon. No. Okay. So I'm glad I only took two stems. Mm-hmm. Because if I took more, that would be. I would have lost my fucking mind. Mm-hmm. Literally. It was like, they taught. Those teachers are named teachers for a fucking reason. Because I, I, they were in full control. Yeah. Um, but, that being said, I met this super friendly guy at um, uh, 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 Grand Central Station. Which anyone who goes to summer camp knows Grand Central Station is a, the big four-way next to uh, one of the biggest stages at the... It's in the woods, okay. basically. So it's right on the edge of the woods, and then right, at, right as you get out is one of the biggest stages at the festival. Yeah, wait, where, where in Illinois is... It's in a yeah. place called Chillicothe, right outside of Peoria. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know much about Illinois, honestly. Yeah, me neither. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just summer camp, man. That's all that's down there. I just that in Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, yeah, Chicago. <laughs> I know Chicago's there. Chicago exists. Chicago's Gotham City, but, uh, IRL. I, I met a super... Friendly guy, he had every kind of like Delta Eight fucking dabs, flour, and then he's like, I also got some Molly. If you like Molly, and then it popped in my brain. I was oh, like, hey. I'm gonna hippie flip tonight. I already know for sure that I got these amazing mushrooms. Why not pair it with something like a, a level of Molly that I know is equally amazing? Yeah. So I'm like, how good is it? And he goes, it's some perp. By the way, never seen, never heard of purple Molly, mm. ever. What the fuck? Purple. Purple. And it's purple. What the fuck? It is super purple. That's scary. Heisenberg's I'm, out there. You no, know, for real, that's literally what I said. Yeah. I was like, it's some Heisenberg <laughs> shit. What the fuck? And I guess it's normal. In the scene, I guess it's normal. Um, It was sass. It was not Molly. Okay. But that was totally fine. I only mm. took one. I, mm. I took, it was a point and a half of sass. Okay. And I had a fantastic See. time. <laughs> Mixing that and those mushrooms was just like, I mean, I, I was rolling, but with mushroom, intense mushroom visuals. Oh, wow. The mushrooms could not feel it in my head. I kind of hmm. forgot that I took them. And then really? I, would, I would stare at my phone or I would stare at something and I'd be like, to me, that's right, I'm tripping too. <laughs> there was one time where I got Molly and it was actually sassafras. Yeah. Um, how did that make you feel? Like, was that, was that? My God, I mean, like, I, like, I knew it was sass and I, like, getting into it, like, my purple aspect, I've had really good Molly before. Mm-hmm. So I've had what I would consider very pure Molly. Mm-hmm. I've had clear crystals. I've had straight golden crystals. Mm-hmm. Um, so I've never, never seen purple. You know, and it's see, it's solid purple too. It's not see through. So I knew I, there was a good chance that there was some other shit in there. But um, the high was very. Um, Did it feel dirty? A little no. bit. No, it was clean no. all around. I mean, I felt fine. I felt yeah. like a great time. I, uh, euphoria, mm-hmm. super high. Yeah. Super high euphoria. Um, my eyes were rolling back into my head. Oh, no. And my right eyelid was closed. Oh, no. And at one point, we're at Opio. Love Opio. I'm vibing super heavy in the music. I brought my chair because I knew I was going to be incapacitated. Yeah. You know? And, um... I, I'm immediately sit in my chair because I'm like, I'm not even going to try and stand up. I'm going to fall to the ground. <laughs> my legs are going to not working right now. And um, at one point, like, I could have met. I was, I'm, it was an amazing time. Let mm-hmm. me reiterate. No. Amazing fucking high. Amazing experience. Um, but at one point, you know, I'm like, 
just retarded. Yeah, look, yeah. looking really dumb. <laughs> and oh I'm one eyelid won't, my right eyelid won't open. My left eye is like rolling back, so I'm kind of seeing what's going on. Uh-huh. But <laughs> but not really. Yeah. And uh, I, like my teeth are just grinding like crazy, and my buddy, <laughs> my buddy this doesn't was, sound too pleasant. My God, it was awesome, man. No. It uh. was great. It was great because I I'm caked on top of all this. Right. Is this over sense of I'm fine. I'm with some awesome people. Okay. And euphoria yeah. beyond belief. And the music. Yeah. Like I said, absolutely love Opio. So, like... Opio? Opio. Okay. He's kind of like a groove EDM artist. Hmm. He's got a couple classics out there. Hmm. Um, but yeah. And my buddy looked back at me when I, was, when I got to that point. And uh, he was like... Dude, are you all right? Oh my He's God. like making sure I'm good. You know, yeah. he was just drinking at the time. Okay. And I just like, I couldn't make out. I didn't want to talk and he couldn't hear me if I tried to talk anyways, cause it was so loud. But I was, I just remember like looking up and I'm like throwing up a thumbs <laughs> up. Like, I'm having a great time. I know oh he didn't hear God. it, but he's like, good. Good. He sees the visual <laughs> right. signal. Um, yeah, that and then, and then that came down. Uh-huh. That lasted a good forty minutes. Yeah, a good forty minute peak. Um, and then, uh, and then I realized I was tripping on mushrooms. <laughs> and that took over. Yeah. <laughs> and that took over, and they were just awesome mushrooms. So <laughs> I had the um, the amphetamine high from the sass. Yeah. And that kept me up the whole night, which was awesome. There was no crash from that, which mm-hmm. I really enjoyed. Hmm. Um. And, uh, yeah, Good. I, uh, tripped, I tripped the rest of the night. I saw I, a Gorillaz cover set. Oh. That was really cool. I wish I could name their, uh, band right now, but they're not coming to me. I don't, I don't know the band outside of the set. Something, something British related. Yeah, maybe. So who knows? Um, yeah, I wouldn't, I never like to get fucked up to the point where I'm like visually, like people can tell that I'm really fucked up, even though I'm sure it was great. Like the yeah. way you're telling it yeah. from your inner, you know, your yourself, mm-hmm. it sounds great. But like, if I was there and I saw you like that, I'd be like, no, Justin, look <laughs> what you've done to yourself. And I'd be like, hell yeah, man. Oh. I'm having a great time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. teeth not separating because lock jaw <laughs> like a mother. <laughs> and then this beautiful woman gave me two sticks of gum. Oh, well, that's nice. And that saved my life. I mean, my jaw was so fucked for the first half of the next day. I was just, eating was so sore because yeah. of how hard I was going to town. Right. Well, glad you had fun. Yeah. It was great. I need to. I need a vacation. I need something like that. Just get out of my mm-hmm. headspace. But at the same time, I kind of had a psychedelic vacation of sorts. They're real. Um, They're real, and that's yeah. kind of why I like the fuck with psychedelics. I'm just like mm-hmm. weekend type deal because mm-hmm. it makes one the weekend feel longer. It feels like I've done more. Mm-hmm. Um, Everything feels meaningful. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And um, yeah, they're just. Um, I don't want to say euphoria boosters because it's not euphoria that follows. It's uh, serotonin boosters. Yeah. Personally. Yeah, it's like I'm happy person. You know, cool. with, with the days after. Yeah. Yeah, they're good. Um, what else? What else? Where do we go with this podcast? Where do we go from here? <laughs> um, All of the children. This time we don't have. Music playing in the background. I also feel like music kind of helps mm. a little bit. Can we crack a window? Yeah, it's kind of hot in here. It's honestly. stuffy. Yeah. Uh, we can do it. <laughs> Force. I was really expecting a web to come out of that last Oh, one. my God. You have to grab, oh, you have to grab no, all I gotta of them. Stand up. Get up. Make sure it's even on both sides, please. It's going to bother me. There's three. What kind of I don't. Setting? I don't. Know. <laughs> what the, kind of setting? The one in the middle too. Oh, it's crazy. So yeah, there. The all, right. all right. All right. Let's. Other side. Other side. There you go. And then. Open. It doesn't even need to be that high. No, it doesn't. I don't want people looking in here. Hello. In fact, I don't like this here, but that's okay. Hello. 
Oh, oh, watch the gas mask. Gas. Gas. I was wearing that gas mask, and some guy on, I was on Omegle, of course, my favorite website. And <laughs> Is there a lock? No, just open it. What's wrong with you? Dude, it's not opening. Are you... <laughs> Stop. Stop. There's I refuse that... to believe I'm weak. Oh, my God. Watch. Oh, wait. Why did you do that? Oh, you, you gotta in. push in. You didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't think I had to. <laughs> um, you did. I guess. I'm, you gotta remember what kind of IQ you're dealing with here. Okay? I know, I'm, not, I'm on a different level, okay? You're 500. I'm at, I'm at a professor level. I'm not used to using brain power. You still hear so the birds small. chirping. Great. Happy Saturday, everyone, if you're listening to this on a Saturday. Hmm. Um, you're probably listening to this. Mm, you're, you're probably not listening to this, yeah. but that's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I'm gonna keep saying um until something comes to me. This is nature, everyone. Mm. Oh, beautiful. This is a podcast to fall asleep to. <laughs> um, no, it's a drug podcast now. Brain I guess. Forest. Yeah, I talked about a festival and I have whippets, and now, bada boom, bada bang. Now, bada now boom, we're bada for bang. the wooks. Yeah. Um, what are you? Are you still working the same job? Yeah. Cool. That's they suspended me. Printing. They suspended me for three days. Mm. So I gave him more than a month's warning hmm. that I was going to summer camp, right? Yeah. And in th- he told me that it would take a few days for him to approve the days, mm-hmm. which I was completely fine with. Um, but in the three, or not two days, following me entering my vacation request, two other people had gotten given the days that I requested. Mm-hmm. This, I was, of course, like, okay, well, I better get them, too, you know. Did not get them. And I was like, well, I'm going to go anyway. I'm going. <laughs> I'm not going to be said here. you're going to give them to me. All right. So I, I, uh, I pretty much told him that. And then I came back on Tuesday, and he was like, listen, man, what you did was pretty much a fuck you to me and the company. So we got to do something. Can't fire you. We're but... taking your left nut. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> give me one of your pinkies. <laughs> Taliban law. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and uh, he's like, oh, so we're going to suspend you for three days. And I had to, like, <clears throat> hide my... my hap- No, my happiness. happiness. I could not have been more <laughs> happy with that. I'm like, dude, like, I know you got a lot of people that are living on their own and a lot of older people that are working here because they need to. Yeah. If there's one employee here that doesn't need this job to live, it's fucking me, dude. I just got back from a festival. You're telling me I got three more days to rehabilitate Chill. myself? You're giving me a reward. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I should be shaking your hand and giving you a hug right now. That's what it feels like. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, stick with the job if you keep if you like it. Um, uh, don't they'll, don't they'll get lose, fired. They'll lose me soon. Yeah. yeah. What do you think you're gonna do next? I don't know. I'm gonna take my time. The reason they didn't fire me is because they need me. Hmm. They absolutely need me, and my operator is putting his two weeks in. So okay. They need need me. Yeah. And uh, you know, I'm a vacation guy. I'm I'm gonna take at least one big vacation every year, mm-hmm. and I wouldn't consider summer camp my big vacation. It's only two days with Memorial Day weekend. So right. You know, it's not a lot. Yeah. Uh. So, I don't think they're going to approve much of anything after that. <laughs> oh, well. So, you know, it's just a matter of time until I, until I find something that, you know, either pays better or whatever, man, you know. But I've, I've been pretty happy lately, what about so. content other than this? Content creation of any kind? You... Uh, actually, I just started talking with my buddy. Yeah. Um, we, uh, we're going to get some uh, t-shirts going. T-shirts. Yeah. Yeah, so he has a friend who is into like the deep dub scene, or okay. was into the, the deep wubba dub. Wubba dub. And uh, he passed away, unfortunately. Oh. Um, okay. A couple of I want to say almost two years ago now. Hmm. Um, but you know the circle that he was in and his friend groups are still you know raising money for the family, raising money for you know fun- the funeral costs and. Um, just still just selling his merch and uh, he wants to make a couple of memorial shirts for him and then on top of that once we kind of get that going out there and that started um, 
he wants to start making like kind of like bootleg ma- band merch. Okay. And uh, so I think that's going to be on the plate for me next summer when I go to summer camp is you know, trying to sell some bootleg uh, designs that I make on some t-shirts and being at the place that I am right now, you know, I can get it printed for cost and, you know, you can't really beat that. So that, that'd be one thing that would keep me at where I'm at right now. Okay. If that passion does uh, end up taking off, that's going to be really convenient. That'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. Do it, man. Yeah. I yeah. am trying eventually one of these days to get back into filmmaking. Um, don't really know when that will be. I have a lot of ideas, though, mm-hmm. of, like, what I could start with, but don't know when to start. Oh, well. Start with fucking, <clears throat> um, a screenplay. Yeah. Or not a screenplay. What are those fucking things called where you break everything down by chapters first? That's what I did. Um, I don't know what that's called. But I forgot that there's a name for it, but I can't remember. That's what I did for my personal favorite project of mine, The Night Plan. Mm-hmm. And then I wrote that whole script out. Like, the idea came to me that, okay, people are going to be told to rob a bank by an anonymous source, and things get weird. And that's mm-hmm. that was the premise I started with. And then, like, every day in high school, I would just write a little bit more like, into the plot, and the plot would just get more interesting. Mm-hmm. And that's what I miss. So you know, trying to get back there. Very eerily, eerily similar to a, like a real life bank robbery that happened. I can't remember what year it was. It was a long time ago, but it's on the uh, CIA's most investigated cases. Hmm. Um, so basically, like these two people wanted to rob a bank, but they wanted it to be so convoluted that it could never, never be get, traced back. Never get traced back to them. So what ended up happening was they ended up hiring a bunch of people to do the job. To do the job. Um, but basically they were fucking crackheads. Oh, no. So it was so convoluted that it could never work. Uh, and what they did was they attached a But bomb. there was an attempt? Yeah, you robbed the bank. Okay. Um, so what happened was they got they hired a guy to rob a bank, and what they were gonna do was strap a bomb to his neck to make it seem like someone was forcing him to rob. Oh the my bank. God! Wait a minute. I've heard about this. Yeah, yeah. This is real. This is one. Uh, this is one of the CIA's most investigated uh, instances. I think it's. And the, the bomb system. went off. The bomb went off. He, he the bomb was died. real. They told him it was fake. This was like a Netflix documentary. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I've heard a... about this a lifetime. I think I might have heard about this in high school. Huh. But uh I definitely remember yeah, that. So he basically he's you know gets away. Wasn't it a he woman? Starts... No, it was a guy. No, a woman that like started the thing. Like, yeah, it was the... a man and a woman, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Uh so he gets away and he basically is told to go to these checkpoints. And each each checkpoint yeah. has another checkpoint for him to go to because they didn't want his path to be followed. Yeah, and the plan was and all it, along. It, to it kill had him. like fourteen checkpoints, and because the bomb was real, it was literally physically impossible for him to complete them. Hmm. So yeah, his um his head ended up exploding. Sad. I, I saw that footage. And that's that. Yeah, I think everyone, everyone, a good majority of the U.S. population. When did that happen? Has. Like in the nineties? No, it was much later than that. It must have been like the seventies or eighties. Later. Yeah, I don't know. It's old. Uh, there know. was definitely, like, I think it was 90s or early 2000s, easily. I have no idea. I just know it happened, and it's real. Hmm. <laughs> That's interesting. Because if you just told that story, it would not seem very real. Right. <laughs> you know, like, no, oh, dude, his head really blew up. <laughs> I'm almost convinced, with my scenario with the night plan, hmm. that the idea of all that was kind of stolen Mm-hmm. And put into a Black Mirror episode. Well, I, there's a Black oh. Mirror episode where this kid is gets hacked out through his webcam, yeah. and they have yeah. yeah, I've seen the episode, yeah. And then they have to rob the bank, yeah, or yeah, they rob the bank. It's literally the kind of yeah, but that's what very, <laughs> very Black Mirror. Yeah, it was. I just always think very Black Mirrorish. Yeah, because that gets that gets into the realm of like identity theft, and we're like, oh well, we have your face. Mm-hmm. So if you don't do this for us, you know, your face is going to be and then, posted somewhere. When I was in Hollywood, I wrote a script called, it sounds super cheesy, Blood, the Color of Love. 
But, okay. okay. And it was about... It's a little cheesy. Che- yeah. It was about two uh, lovers who were basically on the run, just committing crimes and shit. Mm-hmm. And that same actor that was in the episode of Black Mirror that I thought copied the night plan was the main character. It's in uh, this Netflix show. What the fuck is it called? Oh my god, this is going to bother me. Um, fuck, what's it called? End of the fucking world. Oh, the weird guy? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just felt like that whole story like mirrored like my script. Because I sent that script to a producer to get looked at and then I never got a response or anything and I think you like someone might have just stole the idea yeah I think he's in the whole thing yeah so you gotta send a quarter well of I was script. fucked up when I sent yeah. it so. <laughs> gotta send a quarter of the script because if they yeah. love it they're gonna read that and they're gonna be like this is our rest right well yeah right yeah yeah man fuck Hollywood yep, fuck <laughs> Hollywood you send your shit to Black Mirror, you stupid fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, Netflix. They just... Netflix, hit me up. I'll do a show. Netflix. <laughs> I'll do I know you're. I know you're dying right now. Yes. Your ne- stock prices dude, are falling. Actually, uh, Netflix had a, um, something great happen to them. So mm-hmm. they just released the new season of Stranger Things. Mm-hmm. And in... I personally have not been caught up to this point yet. But um, I want to say it's like episode four or five. Um, Don't do it. I'm gonna do it. Kai. <laughs> it's uh, not as bad as you think. This is not. It is one. so bad. Um, I think it's episode four or five. Um, and they played some '80s tune that was really big in the '80s. Uh huh. And that song is like number one on the top 100 now. Mm-hmm. So like that alone, I feel like that reach. It just goes to show that Netflix still has tons of reach with their Netflix originals. Yeah, Stranger Things. It's it's good. I just... I lo- I fell off after season two. Yeah. It's just kind of like... Season one, A nostalgia opinion, cash grab a little awesome. bit. I feel like just it's a I lot... I feel like that's the theme for a lot of things lately. Yeah. Is the nostalgia oh, cash yeah. grab. That's, all, that's, that's, that's the only reason thing. why we got Toby and Andrew in mm-hmm. the last Spider-Man. It's literally the mm-hmm. only reason. Spoilers! Right. If you don't know by now... Uh, you should have fucked... If you haven't seen knows. the movie, fuck you. You yeah, deserve a spoiler. No. <laughs> it's been out long enough. Get, oh. get a grip. Get a grip, watch folks. Spider-Man. This is a really good podcast, actually, today. Yeah. I think. We're feeling good. You're like, I have nothing to talk about, and you've just been talking <laughs> yeah. the whole time. That I can do, man. I can talk. Oh, man. I was lifting weights, and uh, I had this weight, and I leaned back too far. And I fell out. <gasps> what the Whoa, fuck? Did you manifest that? Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. Moment of silence for the glitch in the Matrix that just happened. Joyo? Joyo, yeah. So. South Korean company. Sounds like it. Probably. I guess. How do you feel like I have to shit but I don't have to shit? <laughs> I shit before a game here. I can't relate. Good. I'm shitting like crazy lately. I'll have like four bowel movements a day. Maybe more. But they're healthy. That's a lot of shit. Week. I know. Like are they full shits? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, <laughs> that's weird. That's why I have no fat on my body. It's because I you just shit it out. out all of it. Yeah. But I'm getting stronger every day. A little stronger. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my appetite has been weird lately, though. I will. I will say that. Like some days, I'll just wake up and not eat until six, seven. Dude, that's PM. me every day. I. It's not healthy. I know, but I'm just not hungry. I know, but if I try to eat in the morning, I feel sick. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I don't, but it helps me like jumpstart the day, like literally breakfast. No, water or coffee or literally anything else will help me jumpstart my day besides food. Food makes me feel sick in the morning. Really? Yes. What are you doing at night? Sleeping. I don't know. Before you go to bed, (laughs) a smoke. I smoke weed and then I go to bed. That's my daily routine. Mm-hmm. 
Um, Sometimes I eat food before I go to bed. Okay. I don't know, that's not good for me, but... Everyone hungry. fucking knows that. And I sometimes I even think like, oh, I should probably eat this food before I go to bed because I'm not going to be hungry in the morning or I'm going to feel like shit if I try to eat it in the morning. So yeah. eat it now. A lot of my thought processes go that way. I've been having a lot of crazy dreams lately. Do you need to smoke ago. more? A couple nights ago. No, I don't want to. You I'm want actually, the cra- I'm good crazy? To smoke way less. That they're, is the they're goal. good crazy dreams? Or? Yeah, oh yeah. They're all good. Cool. Lately. But just uh, a lot of energy, super like lively, like I'm there almost. Love it. Um, I love those dreams. One of them was our family was having a party at our old, uh, at my grandparents' old property, which was just kind of strange. There was just like so many people on the property and I was just with my dad. And we're walking around, and he sees a deer. He's just like, pull up. And he just shoots it with a crossbow. He just has it. He just has a crossbow at the family. (laughs) It's so weird. I swear there were, like, two moons in the sky, too. Hell yeah. It was just like, okay. Hell yeah. Cool. That's cool. Yeah. I love love dreams like that. Just, uh... I gotta say, most of my dreams, I feel like I'm living in them. When I have them, because I, I rarely ever have dreams, because I, I do, like, I smoke every night before I go to bed, uh-huh. whether it's Delta A or, you know, just straight up Delta 9, I am getting high every night before I go to bed, because it helps me sleep. There's Delta 10 now. And I never like Delta 10. It doesn't get me nearly as, as shizapped or anything. As the others. Yeah. I don't like Delta 8, personally. Really? I no. love Delta 8. Something about it doesn't feel... Oh, I could totally see some shit coming out down the road where they, like, Delta, it is just horrible for you. Totally yeah. see it, can see that happening. But it is already, like, honestly, there's very few studies on all this new shit they create. Yeah. Well, and that's it's why it's like, illegal. That's why it's study, here is because there's nothing on it. Yeah, and then eventually it'll get banned for this or that reason. But I can't believe it's... The, the reason they why... They just need to legalize weed. The, uh, uh, like uh, another reason why it's kind of been easy for me to just keep doing it is yeah. it's not been illegalized which is strange because you know with like K2 and all these other th- waves of drugs not illegalized that, you said yeah, yeah. All, with all the uh, other waves of drugs that are I was expecting it bad for I was you. expecting it to get pulled like really right quick. away yeah and it's but not, it didn't it's, it's not here. there's dispensaries opening up so like, many people everyone's are using the THC it. companies now. are selling it like, it's so, fucked up. You know, at this point, you know, it's so normalized. I, uh, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. It's like a beer, you know. I don't really like, know what's floating around Speaking of which, there, would you like a beer? I will do it. Yeah, sure. I'll have a beer. All right. a beer. I'll be right back, folks. Entertain the guests. Mm, yeah. So, guests, this is what a whippet sounds like. Oh, God. <laughs> Leaving the room. And just to go, just for the record of the show, Kai Bakken has been doing this the entire time with me. He actually gave these to me. Really cheap, but he sold them to me. These are lies. <laughs> um, let's use your lighter. I just found that today. But yeah, use, use, use the for. shit out of it, man. So <laughs> fucking use it, dude. Ah. Whoops. I'm a bad man. I'm a bad man. Ugh. We're doing pretty good here. We got 33 minutes on the pizzazz. Feels great. I feel like we've been talking nonstop. We have. I feel like it's mainly been me talking about summer camp. Yep. But who wants to hear boring Verizon right. related <laughs> things? Verizon um, summer camp. Verizon guys. summer camp. Let me tell you. No, uh, honestly, though, when I go back to that job, I'm going full force. Yeah. Like, I'm going to be a relentless yeah. salesman. Dude, I because I had distractions when I was last there. Mm-hmm. I remember I remember when you now. tried to give me a job at Verizon. I was like, really, bro? Oh. Like, come on. Yeah, I kind of... Mm. Can you see my ass selling phones? Never. I wouldn't buy a suit every day. I, yeah, I would not buy a phone for me. Why not? Why do you say that? Because I... I feel like you see Wook right now, and that's what I've always seen. What if a Wook came in and wanted to buy a phone? 
Well, then I would sell to the work. <laughs> but for the average be family, like... I'm no, really if like you're I'm wearing a have... suit, they're not going to see a look. They're not going to see anything like that. Yeah, they're going to see right. a professional... I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Professional salesman. But that, I got that Andy. entails me... Uh, I got Andy working suit, there. So I, uh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Proper is working there. He's very happy with the job. He's actually doing super, super well. I'm actually a little afraid I won't be able to compete. He's up rising? Yeah. I got him the job there. Yeah. Kind (laughs) of. You got him the job. I got him the job. From outside having the job. Yeah. After being fired. I... Interesting. Yeah. Well, I just (laughs) sold him. I, I sold him on the idea of the job, and that's why I'm a good salesman. Um, so... You it's should bring that up well. in your interview. Be like, so you know that guy, not, Andy. I don't need an interview. They're just gonna. They're just gonna hire you. On. Scoop me right back up. Yep. Hopefully, Good. I don't have to. Take why a did they fire you? Um, why did they fire me? Wasn't it some bullshit? Like you had one too many days off or something. Well, I'm not gonna sick. criticize them because I was, I was not in the right mental state during the end of that whole thing. Like I was drinking insane amounts. I would. Sh- I showed up to work once and I was like half drunk probably. They sent me home that day, and, uh, yeah. I was, gotcha. Um, that was the that was, that was the kickstart of, like, events. And then oh. one day I woke up, and I had a, a severe pain in my abdominal region. I'm not sure what caused that. Um, so I went to the clinic. Like, I couldn't get out of my bed. I couldn't stand up without, like, feeling intense pain. So I'm like, I can't fucking go to work. Right. I was supposed to work at 930. I had someone swap a shift with me so I could come in at 12. And then it ended up going past 12 o'clock, and I was at the clinic, and then I couldn't get the message out in time that I was still at the doctor, and they fired me. But I, I don't blame them. I honestly... Because lead up to that. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't performing to their standards, and I totally accept that. So I will be happy to go back and be in the right state and fucking kill it. Right. That's the plan. Save money, uh, get out of this apartment, and... Yeah, go from there. Get the fuck out of Jackson, bro. Get the fuck out of Wisconsin, probably. I mean, but... you just got a job in West Bend, but... Yeah, but... <laughs> what's nice... Oh. What's nice is it's, like, an international... Not international, but national company. Right, you can, can go... take that anywhere. Yeah. I think I probably have to stay a year now, because I left, but... Um, Let's leave you know, together, it's... man. Let's go to Oregon. Yeah, I'm, I don't know about Oregon, but... I'd love to visit Oregon. Imagine going but, down to the corner store and buying magic mushrooms. Yeah. By the strain. Yeah. That's Oregon. There's nowhere else in the U.S. Nowhere else in the U.S. Uh, I don't know. How is that whole decriminalize all drugs thing is working over there? It's going great. Is it? It's going absolutely great. ODs are down. Yeah. But uh, homeless drug related, population drug is Drug related like, arrests oh, are going it? down. You got Portland, down. man. When you got a city like Portland, it's, you know, decriminalizing drugs isn't necessarily going to solve all your problems, you know? Yeah, I guess. Portland has had their problems <clears throat> since fucking forever, mm-hmm. you know? It's full of a bunch of pretentious white people who think that they're better than they are, and I, I, I can I can only see just as many bad things happening as a, as a city like Chicago or Milwaukee, mm-hmm. you know? It's the same fucking thing. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. it may be down, but there's less people getting put in we jail. Gotta figure out this homeless thing, though. There's like, less gotta... people getting. <laughs> yeah, I... Ugh, dude. It's so bad. Like especially L. A. is fucking overrun. Dude, like, Colorado is depressing. Like yeah. we, like it, one of the biggest, probably the biggest downtown area I've ever seen because I couldn't see the end. We were just walking it, walking it, walking it, and. Everything looks so beautiful and so nice. All the stores are so well kept. The, the roads are all well kept and everything looks beautiful. But there's every corner, there's homeless people. And yeah. not just one homeless guy, but like a bunch. And the alleys covered in homeless people. Man, we need to fix mental health in this goddamn country. Like that shooting, all these shootings, like I'm so sick of it. Yeah, so had, sick of it. We had it's senseless violence yeah. and it's just pissing me off like what what do we need to really wake up in this country what do you what does it take like do we need a hundred people know, to die i uh, like what? i saw this thing not too long ago that pretty much said the more comfortable that we get with the, us 
the more it's going to no, happen. The more comfortable we get with life, technology, the more that we simplify our day-to-day lives, mm-hmm. the crazier we're going to get. Yeah. The crazier yeah. the, 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 the things we're going to think and the things we're going to do just, just because too it's time too, for humans yeah, now, it's too think? simple. It's too, too simple. It's too it simple. You know, we... Like, you got a 9 to 5, and you, and you wake up, and you're like, wow, I, that's all I've done with my it's week. My life. Yeah. And I just worked. That's all that I did. And, you know, what do you got to show for it? I'm not, a paycheck just good enough to pay your rent, your phone bill, your electricity, all your utilities, <clears throat> and enough to make you eat. Mm-hmm. And then you got a little bit left over, and that's about it. And then you're taught to save that. Like, it's just so, you know. Yeah. It's just so cut and dry when, you know... It's simple, but it's Not that also back in the day challenge. was better. Yeah. Not that it was better by any means, but, you know... Things are just mind numbing. It's different. Yeah. Today. We're animals. We're not meant to be the way we are, but we are. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Hopefully things get better. That's all you can do. Like, just fucking... And just support believe, mental health awareness. Believe in goodness. Yeah. And, and believe just, that... Yeah. Just... just real... <laughs> Just positive things realize can. that your life is not a test drive yeah and this isn't to see how good you can do at your job it's not to see how much money you can save up it's about how great of a time you can have mm-hmm. and that's it that's all you need to worry about and you can take that to the bank <laughs> do whatever you fucking want <laughs> Captain Nitrous. So Captain Nitrous. What are you doing, man? I can't believe you're doing this. It's crazy. I think if you did a little research, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think about it no, as, as poorly. I feel like that could like lead to an aneurysm or something. The idea of inhaling a gas like that. Or are you literally drinking dead bug farts? So what? <laughs> I've been drinking <laughs> this. That's what it is. That's what we do. It's, it's the whole state of Wisconsin. You drink yeah, and this dead is, bugs. How do you use this to this? <laughs> I have no idea. You uh, simply assume the position. So this mm-hmm. is half of it. Mm, yes. You lock it in. Mm. And just... Mm, use that in. Wow, that went all the way around the room. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> it, like UFO'd. Careful. Buster Brown. I drink beer. I'm an adult. I feel like I need to eat, but I'm not hungry. Then you I ate enough eat. today, but I'm, I'm going to eat later and have this podcast. Um, do you guys need to eat? That's the question. If you need to eat... Take this time. Take, take five minutes right now yeah. to go eat. Get some food in you. Make sure get, you're drinking water. Yep. Drink your water. Get some sleep. You sound tired. Yeah. You sound really tired. Um, so I'm just going to tuck you in with these words. Have a great night. I love how we know it, too. We're in the inner circle. Mm-hmm. Don't let anyone know. I need some water. Um... Because I feel a little, woo, a little tired, a little out of it. Be right back. Sounds good, brother. You have a tolerance yet for that? No. <laughs> no. I don't know if you can, and I don't think I want to get to nearly anywhere near what requires a tolerance. Steve-O did whippets. Steve O's still with us, so well, that's Steve O's pretty cool. Yeah. So <laughs> be like Steve O. Hey, do like, whippets. Be like Steve O, man. How do you talk like Steve O? It's like I heard do he, he literally Do whippets, sh- man. So I, like be like me. Be no. Steve O. <laughs> <laughs> um I heard he talks literally incorrectly. Like he pushes air out of his throat. Like if you talk I don't know. I, don't I just know tried to do it. that and I can't. Yeah. Hey, hey guys, it's Stevo. We're gonna be. I can't do it. I, hey, uh, it I, um, I don't even know what that means. Push <laughs> it out my throat. That's what I do every time I talk, right? Do no, you? wait. You don't. I'm holding my breath. Yeah. That's you weird. You're not breathing while you talk. Hang on. Wait. Then what makes the noise? 
What makes the noise is your uh, vocal cords. Um, um, well, there's no air getting pushed for that? Mm. That's fucking nuts. <laughs> I just discovered that. <laughs> You're blowing my mind right now. Oh my god, it's a, it's a science podcast. Uh, we're going to have Neil deGrasse Tyson on next episode. I heard he's an actor. Yeah. yeah, he seems like a guy who would be a little pretentious. Nothing against you, Neil, Degr- Neil deGrasse. No, um, but, uh, everything against you, Neil deGrasse Tyson. No, fuck he's a smart you. guy. No, he's a smart. You guy. don't know shit about fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an astrophysicist, and we as astrophysicists know one thing: stars. Stars. We know things about stars and space. Space time. Now, Carl Sagan, that's a real G. He's dead, right? He's way dead. Yeah, if that man was still alive, I wonder what he would say about the state of the world. Dang. Damn, Damn son, where'd you find this? Something stupid like that. No. Um, what are we at here? We got like 45 minutes. It's minutes. definitely a solid podcast, so we can end it at any time, but we're going to keep going because it's... Feels right, right, Justin? Yeah. Okay. That's what we're doing right now. What else can we talk about? I don't know. What about the cool patterns I'm seeing in your carpet? Are you serious? Yeah. You're seeing stuff? Dude, yeah, these are really good. <laughs> <laughs> they are. I didn't I didn't deny that. Um my tolerance though for psilocybin is probably through the roof. How long have you been doing that every day? Um not okay, I took a break for a week. And you then, gotta commit. I know. And then I uh I take just a, just like Less than a gram. What I want to do is I want to find... Next time I pick up a good bag... Um, I'm not... This sounds really bad to whoever's listening, but yeah, um, I'm not making a a huge habit about it. I'm going to stop for a while. I see absolutely no problem with microdosing. Um, It's not... Yeah. I mean, as long as you're microdosing. Yeah, kind of microdosing. Like... Like a gram a day is too much. I did, though. (laughs) I did. I I mean, like, that's just kind of weird. So I got the nicest acid that I've ever had. Mm-hmm. Um, like nicest to you? Just so pure. Oh. And like the first trip I had on it, because I got two tabs, I took one trip midday, like Saturday or whatever, just blew me away. Like I forgot how different it was from shrooms. Mm, very different. Just a different ride. Yeah. And a different animal. Um, and it was just so euphoric. Like there was not a single mm. bad vibe that whole time. So yes, it, see, that, that was the trip me. that it, made me... Stop doing acid. When it's good? My last trip, I took four doses. It was at summer camp, actually, two years ago now. Hmm. Yeah, two years ago now. Three years ago, because there wasn't one in 2018. It's been years since I've done acid. That blows me away. That's weird to me. I was going to say, real quick. Yeah, keep me Because the next week, I did the same thing. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to take this other tab. Then it's gone. Then, yeah, whatever. It'll be a nice day. Take it. And... It's, like, almost the same, like, everything is, like, the same vibe, good, all that. But then something just flipped. And it just, it's it <laughs> just, like, lost, like, I was really scared. Like, there was a moment mm-hmm. where I just, Primitives. I just felt, Primitive fear. I just felt like I was the only person on the earth. Yeah. And I was alone, I couldn't reach anybody. I was reaching out to so many people, and no one was responding oh, on Snapchat. God, that's the worst. And that's I'm just like, worst. get your phone away from. And I, I was gonna call my parents. I was almost there. Oof. And I'm like, I'm not gonna do that because they're gonna, be like, guy, just right. don't like. I don't. I don't need that. that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but luckily, Andy eventually came over, and by that point, like I was already coming down. I, think I vaguely and, remember this happening. I think you invited me over, maybe. Mm-mm. This was really recent, like I a think week ago. Was it? Well, was that summer camp? Yeah, I think so. Oh. Yeah, it was. Oh, it was okay. while you were at summer camp. Um, but yeah, it's just it's so weird how it the first dose was acid perfect, and then acid, just like any other psychedelic, can uh, is just a direct reflection of what's going on upstairs, man. Yep, and if it's not good, we're not gonna have a good time, and that's why I think everybody should try psychedelics not because it's su- a super fun drug that you can do with your friends all the time, mm-hmm. or you know, or you know, any of those reasons for recreational. It shows you what you need to work on. Shows mm-hmm. you when everything's not okay. It's weird that, but like the state I was in just felt so similar for the two trips. Like before I took the dose, like I don't understand why the second trip. It's because I was just trying to recreate the madness, 
and just try to, and it knew and that. Another, yeah, no, and for real, like, it was like, mm, not, yeah, you need I'm the, not being used for medicinal purposes no. anymore. Yeah, you're going <laughs> a spanking. Yeah. Yep, that's, that's the psychedelic spanking. Just backhanded you across the face. Um, and I've kind of decided I'm done with acid, like, completely. That was my exact yeah. feeling when I tripped for the last time at summer camp. It was four doses, and I remember coming up like, why did I take four? Yeah. I'm ridiculous. <laughs> I did not need this. And it got to the point where I, like, I couldn't see. Mm. Everything was a visual. And it was so good and so euphoric and so amazing. And I felt so much love for everyone around me. Mm-hmm. And it was just a beautiful time. And, um, yeah, I remember I made a promise to myself. Probably one of the only promises I've ever been able to keep mm-hmm. to myself in a, lo- in a while. Um, and that I would never do acid unless I knew it was this good, this pure, and I had a trusted source, and my brain was right. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you right now, I've never had an urge to do acid since that trip. Ever. It doesn't cross my mind. Yeah. I, I, yeah, it's gonna stick with me for a while. When people offer it to me, it's so easy to be like, nah, I'm good, thank you. Mushrooms? Me and mushrooms are on good terms right now. (laughs) Same. Yeah. Mushrooms have been doing me good. Yeah, I haven't. There was one time, but that was negatively affected by my ex. Mm. External and surroundings. Which, and was once again, it was super potent mushrooms, though. Once again, yeah. mushrooms showing you things are not all fine. Yeah. You got things to work on. Yeah. This is not a good time yeah. for you. Right. Not a, not necessarily a time that you shouldn't be relaxing, but a time where. You know, you got to be self-aware of the things that are going on. What you're doing, your, brain. your habits. And what it does is it breaks down those walls that you build mm-hmm. every day mm-hmm. to push all that negative shit out. And it's like, nope, there's the walls. It's gone. Crumble, crumble, crumble. Euphoria, euphoria. And then, oh, you stumble upon something negative? Mm. Oh, shit. And then that's all you think about. Yeah. It's dangerous sometimes. Yeah. Well, it's good for you. It's good. It is. In my opinion. If you, if you can learn should. from it, you yeah. have to take it away from it like, okay, that's Act that like was trying being... to tell me something. Right. I need to stop for it a while. It sounds Whatever ridiculous. The message is, it sounds like, stupid. Yeah. But act like it's teaching you something. It is. And it's, it is. It's so it's, weird. It totally is. Because it's, it's a dead life form, basically, mm-hmm. that you're eating and like, well, kind of, right? I mean. Yeah, fungi is not dead. It's not dead even when I mean, it's, it's dead when you eat it. <laughs> but yeah, That's what I'm saying. But, uh, uh, yeah, no, so is weed then, but... Right. But, like... Fungi's not dead. Fungi's... Fungi's different. Fungi's amazing. Fungi is I know everywhere. It's... Yeah, I know. Obviously, it's alive. It grows. Yeah, my ceiling, like... my ceiling is very much alive. It's not, like, a zombie-type yeah. uh, plant or whatever. It's just so strange that certain chemicals do certain things right. to your brain... Write that down. That's going to be on the test. Fun fact, you can't walk anywhere without stepping on fungi. Yeah. If you were walking on any type of planet Earth surface, you are stepping on fungi. Yep. Every Crazy. single step. Um, the desert, though. Mm. That's... Fuck, I think you got me. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be the one spot. Antarctica. I don't know. Maybe there is. Maybe there is. I don't know. Buried beneath the sand. Right. It's the most potent. My, no, for real. Like that. That is what it. Like it is fucking everywhere. I would not be, be surprised at all if underneath the desert there was a layer of mycelium. How cool would it be to go to like one of the ancient deserts, you know, Egypt, mm. just where it'd be it's just rolling, rolling dunes. Right. Like that that would be so cool to see. Scary though. Yeah. It's like it's everything wants to kill you. Like well not. It's it's just anti life, yeah. In a way, yeah. and all the things that live there are just so like hard, like they've lived in the environment so long, they right. just evolved to it. It's crazy. I don't think there's anything that bad out there. It's maybe in, like a snake. Yeah, there's snakes out there. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I don't know. There's lizards there, and there's just snake. birds. Birds really thrive out there mm-hmm. for whatever reason. In the desert. Yeah. Mm. Vultures and shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All the people who die. Yeah, any, anything that dies. Anything that dies out there. Um. Yeah. Drinking coffee? Mm-mm. It's water. Oh, I was about to say, Jesus. Drink water in a mug like a freak. It's vinegar, pussy.
I gotta pee. How are you? Are you good? Vibing. Good. Vibing. Good. I keep leaving the damn room. What's this Scooby Doo coming after you? Gonna solve the mystery. Everyone loves that. Simple plan, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. I'm a music buff. I know, I know all, simple plan. I know all the artists. Polyphia. <laughs> Polyphia? It's my favorite band. How does that make you feel? It's like a little bit of a dissociative. Just, Ooh. Just a smidge. Mm -hmm. It's not good for um, me. Then. I'm already disassociated permanently. I think you'd be surprised what it feels like. It definitely know. intensifies my mushroom trip. Yeah. Which is a good feeling. We are, good, we are on a small way. amount of mushrooms right now. Like I said, not going to make this a, a big uh, thing in my but life. I don't, I, even, just, I don't even know if I was working it through enough. it. I don't even know if I would call it enough to be an associative. I think I would just kind of just label it as um, a little micro. A little Mac. Literally like microdosing a dissociative. Mm. That's kind of what it's like. A mixed with uh, your vision gets a little peacocky. So you, you know how like a peacock, male peacock. Feathers. N no feathers, but <laughs> the, the circles with the dots in the middle. Yeah, yeah. You kind of see like little peacocks everywhere when oh. you get when you hit it really hard. It's not good. And then you get the auditory hallucinations too. Hell no. Yeah. See. That's not like people talking or anything. Yeah, it's but... literally just. Not for me, but. Whatever. Whatever. How many? How many make it? How many do you have in there? How many do I have in my how bag? Little, how many tanks? I have 50. <laughs> I'm not going to use them all um, <laughs> by any means. You're going through them, though. I have, man, because they, um, they don't last very long. <laughs> no, that peacocking, <laughs> that's holes in your brain. Something like that. It's not good. I'm being too judgmental. Yeah, and um, like I'm not that heavy into it. I'm not going to like do this every day. I got day my eye on you. Yeah. I got absolutely nothing to worry about. This is really. You were worried about me a couple weeks ago. I like, was, yeah, oh, when I called you on Snapchat. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah a little bit. With fair reason, I guess. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. Just because, I mean, I wasn't going less, off less deep burning deep your brain cells away and more just grabbing yourself crazy. That's what I was mainly worried about. Yeah. But getting, like, getting weird. I had, I was getting you know, weird. I was you know, getting really it's, weird. It's, it happens to everybody, you know. I apologize for some of the weird Snapchats I have posted. <laughs> Especially a lot of shirtless ones and like... Oh, I missed yeah. all that. What? Yeah. Well, that was uh, when I was on acid, especially. I was like, oh, doing that's that. weird. I can't be. Like, every single Snapchat would be shirtless. I can't be shirtless, shirtless and, and acid. Really? Or, or, I like, shred. Naked. I just take my clothes off. Like, I mean, I can. <laughs> I do. Yeah. And, like, seeing it, that's fine. Yeah. Seeing myself, that's fine. But, like, in a mirror or, like, picture. Get my the mirrors are fucking me Get up. my phone away from me. I do not want my phone at all when I'm on acid. I was in love with my phone. Nope. I was I don't care for it. I'm about it. Every time I look at it, I'm like, Playing eight ball, <laughs> winning every game. I'm like, I'm only yeah. 28 gold. Like, I'm so good now at eight ball. Really? Yeah. I want to try it in uh, real life, though. Like, I want to see. Want to play pool? Want to play pool. <laughs> yeah, I sound like a fucking dunce, but whatever. We're going to try eight ball pool. I, I, heard, I heard they I, have I, it in real life. I heard they. They like the mobile game. In real life? We do not condone the use of nitrous in this household. But it's happening. There's nothing I'm going to do about it. Yeah. I can't arrest this man. I don't have a badge. <laughs> I lost that years ago with my honor. What if you found <laughs> out that I was an undercover? Oh, Kai. <laughs> oh, Kai. I'd be like, you're the shittiest undercover guy that I know. <laughs> Done nothing. Just living the life. Literally. Uh, I make no busts. <laughs> just not it's like, participating. Dude, you got I'm on this shirt. kit, but I keep telling the agency. I couldn't even hit you up for weed I'm, if I wanted to. <laughs> I'm on this. How are you still have a job, man? Yeah, yeah. You should be fired. You're terrible. Yeah, I don't know. The academy just loves me. <laughs> the academy. Can't get enough. Yeah. Been thinking about getting a Blue Lives 
matters sticker on my car. Dude, a bunch of people to, had them at summer camp. Just so that I don't get pulled over. Anymore. Yeah, a bunch of people. Even though I don't really camp. get pulled over all too often anyway, but. If, when, once, if my car's like completely fixed, I don't get pulled over. I don't know why that happened. What? This happened, I mean, like, I noticed it like 25 minutes ago. So? I have no idea. So? It's like a little circle for my, my Let me knuckle. see. I don't think it's killer. Oh, I don't Looks like it's lost scraped it on something. Yeah. No. Don't you hate that? You right, know, you, you fuck no something idea. off and then you look at your ear bleeding or something. Right. So weird. Oh man. Um we could probably wrap it up, but like I don't know. It's up to you. you I don't know. We've uh, been We definitely chill too after this. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Gotcha. Um Yeah man. Life is life is alright. Things are coming together. I'm starting to feel like I'm on, I'm heading in the right direction with a lot of things. I still feel pretty directionless. Yeah? But. I don't. I feel life, happier. Good. Yeah, that's, that's what matters. Yeah. I mean, life is just ebb and flow. You're going to have downs. You're going to have your ups. You just got to ride the wave. Fuck yeah, man. Yo, this is pretty dope. I highly recommend this right now. I don't know how high you are in comparison to me. I'm probably nothing in compar. Like, I'm. Have you eaten anything? What? Yeah, mushies. Yeah. I'll eat more. I mean, I'm not that high, but this is still I'm cool. Now cool. <laughs> you got this sight. How many times will I be in the room, Joe? <sighs> yeah, man. I don't want this anymore. You want the root? The root? No. Is that really a root? Yeah. No, I'm good. <laughs> Dude, these were just two giant mushrooms. Yeah? Yeah. That's cool. Very chill energy from them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I mean. Probably gonna cut some of this out. Just a little bit. Okay, man. I don't want... No one's breaking down my door. I know, but I just don't want my... Family to be like, oh my god, hi. Oh my god. Because they have the same view on drugs that you do. Ooh. What? Hot takes. Hot takes. What? what? I mean, you, you have a different view on drugs because you're, you see them as um, like a recre- more of a recreational medicinal use. Yeah. You think if it's, it can be good for you than it is. Just, I have a track record, you know. Went to a mental hospital a couple, yeah. couple times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But. I was much younger. Mm-hmm. I have my faculties really together for the most part. So, running. Somebody water. just took a shit. I don't know if there's a bathroom. Yeah, there must be a bathroom up there or something. <laughs> With your neighbors? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's probably four at least. No. They're all around this office. Isn't that crazy? I want to finish uh, the four people soundproofing this room, even though it's. Fine, right now, like most people don't even have this much. Yeah, this like this is this is killing me. I mean, this looking is at that, yeah, um, the uneven. The, yeah, style, dude, dude, that has been bothering me too. And I keep trying to fix them, but like they they're just un- slide out. They're not even either. Um, are they even? What do you mean are they even? Like, are they perfect squares? Yeah, they really are. Yeah. This looks skinnier this way. Some of them might be a little crinkled up, but. Yeah, they're all the same. Well, I guess you probably could they're just like stretch a, them. What is that? A foot? Anyway. Or something? Foot by foot? Foot by the foot? Happy Pride Month to all the gay people. Oh, yeah. Where's the other six um, deadly sins? Hmm? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's every other day <laughs> of the week. That's every other Here day. in America, we got greed, rap. Right. You know, all that fun. Sloth, lust. Ooh, I love me some sloth. Oh, sloth around. Yeah. Poor sloth. How'd they get named after a sin? Did they get named after a sin or was... They must have. The animal? The sloth? <laughs> it's spelled the same, question. isn't it? <laughs> is it like... Yeah. No, it isn't. Is it? It is spelled the same. Yeah. S-O-S-L-O-T-H. Uh, <laughs> S-L-O-T-H. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, that's a, Why did they... that's a which came first, chicken or the egg type deal. Right. Look it up, folks. The sin or the sloth? Sin or the sloth. 
Sinner, Sinner Slot. Uh, what's the other one that I am really super guilty of? Envy? No. Um, Wrath? No. <laughs> Give up my name, right? <laughs> Is it greed? Greed is if you are, have a lot of shit and you're not sharing and just obsessed with wealth. But. Oh, I'm thinking of. Get that bread. Is it lust? Yeah. Lust. You're a lustful guy. Yeah, I'm a very lustful guy. I love my drugs. I love drugs. I love sex. I love all that. Yeah. I'm very guilty of sloth and lust. Mm-hmm. That would be my undoing. And then the, ooh, gluttony. Gluttony, that's what I was trying to, not lust. It's yeah. really not lust. It's yeah. gluttony. 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 Well, that's when you get real fat or eating. No, gluttony is just taking more than you should. Yeah. I'm kind of gluttonous sometimes. Oh, yeah. Yep. Dude, with how more often I pick up weed, man, I'm oh, yeah. gluttonous as fuck. Yeah, it's bad. Forgive me, God. <laughs> yeah. Give <laughs> him. Uh, he's not real. Don't say that. There's no God. Uh, I'm pretty agnostic, I think. I mean, I was raised... I mean, same. Yeah. Same. Who's, who's the fuck to say? Like, I don't like people... Obviously, I hate how, like, religion is just so... I do lean towards... Society I do lean towards atheism more than theism, though. Yeah, I mean... You gotta look at things practically. Right, that's how I see most of the things. But most also, things. faith is important. You know. I think having faith in oneself is more important than Yeah, wherever you find faith, else. just believe in something. You know? Faith in something else kind of seems like faith. You don't in believe in anything, you're a nihilist. You're yeah. nihilist, and then you're shooting up schools, and then you're. Well, I don't believe in nothing. Good. No. We have to believe. I don't believe in a way of life. Right. You know, but that's just me, and I'm still working on myself to get myself to that point. Mm-hmm. Amen to that, brother. Cheers. I'm gonna take a little <laughs> pussy here. I'm gonna stand a lot really real quick. Because I have no balance. My chakra is out of line. My chakra is. My chakra is out of line. It's literally what the dude from that one episode of uh, <laughs> Avatar sounds like. Like the guy who helps him get his chakras all balanced, that's literally, they hired a guy to do that voice. <laughs> they hired. <laughs> you must have done your chakras. Did I even inhale that? I don't think so. That was so stupid. Yeah, you just kind of blew that out. You were like, alright, it's done. It's <sighs> weird. I think I haven't been inhaling. Did you get that box in the secret garden? Yeah, uh... Secret card. Is that the place here, Jackson? Yeah. yeah. Tree of life. Inside. Under the tree. tree. Yeah. <laughs> the tree of swords. Trees. If, if you will. <laughs> if you will indulge. Um. Now we have the music section. <laughs> this is uh, this is part of the hour where we like to break it down for you. Let's break it down <laughs> real quick. Uh, let's find a nice sound here. <laughs> That's such a dull sound. <laughs> 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 Shrek enthusiasts? It's an x-ray version of this room when I close my brain. <laughs> or my, my, my eyes. <laughs> close my brain! <laughs> Dude! The closed eye visuals, I've been learning, are like some of my favorite parts of tripping. No, I really never have them unless I'm falling asleep. Close your eyes. No. 
bullshit. Black I'm, weed, I'm dude. telling you right it's now. So cool. There's nothing. What the NPC is really cool. Um, little circles in different colors, you know, perpetrating from the center. Really? And it's all kind of just going off to my side, yeah. And then I'm seeing the light from the lamp next to me here, and it's giving me like a diamond shaped red outline on top. That is fucking cool. That is cool. <laughs> Bro, uh, ooh. No, when I uh, was tripping with Ian on shrooms, I had taken, like, a lot at that point, <sighs> and I, I did them the day before, like, um, not that much on the, on the day before, but when I was coming up, I was, like, coming up harder than anyone else in the room, and it was me, Will, and uh, Ian, and I'm looking at Ian, and I see, like, literally, like, uh, an Indian's, like, sort of chief, like, a chief Indian would wear a headdress. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've seen, like, that form around Ian, and I'm like, Ian, what the fuck? <laughs> Are you an Aiden? <laughs> <laughs> Ian, you never That's told so me. Um, yeah. What do you think? Should we keep going, or? It's falling out. It fell off a while ago. Yeah, we can probably cut it. But. Thank you for tuning in. We'll just have this at the end. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, um, go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah get lost. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing here listening to this shitty yeah, podcast? Come on. I'm kidding. You got um, better shit to do. Eventually, we're going to have a full on studio set up, like Joe Rogan style, cameras, all that. Nope. Nasty. It's yep. going to stay cheap. No. That's, and you can take that to the bank. All right, then we're going to have a come town. We're going to have a come town type of show. Yeah. Perfect. Shout out to Come Town, my favorite podcast right now. Uh, shout out to just come, because that's just. Shout out to come. Know. Shout out to my balls. I love yeah, my balls. Yeah, shout out to my balls. That's where the pee is stored. I'm really happy for that. I'm really grateful for that. Grateful for that. Yeah. That's what I'm wearing. That's what you're doing. <laughs> Alright, closing song. show up I have no rhythm right now let me see that bass that bass (laughs) (laughs) oh good um This is all going in. We're just gonna have a, the last 30 minutes uh, be a train wreck. <laughs> we already did. You did a good cat. Yeah. I'm happy to. No shame in no shame in playing some shitty keyboard now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every non non celebrate. Woo! Shoot gun! Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening, honestly. Anyone who wants to subscribe, please hit subscribe. And there will be more content ahead, regardless, because we love doing this shit. Thank you all. And... I wish I knew the Seinfeld outro, because that's what I play right now. Good day. What does it say? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. America.